So Giovanni from Dynamic Ooh, the people behind Dynamic Content for Elemental and other cool plugins, reached out to me and asked me to take a look at a new tool that they have available. We'll come on to what that is in a moment, but it specifically works alongside Dynamic Shortcodes, a plugin that expands what you can do with WordPress and works with all the key main builders, things like Bricks, Breakdance, Elementor, and so on, but also works inside normal WordPress core in full site editing, Gutenberg, and so on. And basically what it does is it allows us to use dynamic shortcodes to not only output information that's created as part of WordPress itself, but also tools like ACF, ACPT, Toolbox, Metabox, and so on. But we can also do a lot with that data. We can use calculations against it. We can manipulate the data. So many different use cases. I want to show you how this new tool can make the whole process of creating these shortcodes and maybe more comprehensive and complex shortcodes a lot, lot easier. So let me show you this and let's get started. So the tool is called Nora AI. It's an online AI platform trained on dynamic shortcodes to help you create and work on shortcodes, especially if you want to create those more comprehensive ones and you are finding the learning curve is a little bit steep. Now, if you are new to dynamic shortcodes, I would recommend before watching this video, you check out this video, link in the description down below. It shows you a lot more about how dynamic shortcodes works and how to get up and running with it to get a feel for what this does. In this video, we're going to go beyond that and show how we can use Nora AI to be able to help us create these short codes moving forward. Coming into the Nora AI platform, you can see it's very similar to what we expect to see with most AI platforms. We've got a couple of examples and we've got a message and the conversations are listed down the left hand side. So let's start off with a really simple example to see how this works and then we'll very quickly ramp things up. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how you implement these codes. I will show you very briefly, but like I said, our first video is going to give you a much more detailed explanation of how to work with it. Let's start with something really simple. How to display a custom ACF field. So let's just choose that. That will prompt the AI. It will think about it, check the documentation for dynamic shortcodes, and then come back with the answer. And as you can see, it's not just there specifically just to give us the shortcodes, but also to help and explain what the shortcodes mean and how they work. So if you create something and you want a bit more explanation, you can use Nora AI to actually give you some feedback on it, which I think is pretty useful. But as you see, to display a custom ACF field use dynamic shortcodes, use the following syntax. And you can see it gives us the syntax to actually output it. And this is how the shortcodes kind of work. You start off with this kind of ACF in this example, and then you tell it the name of the field that you want. So whatever the ACF field is, this is kind of telling it. If you're using something like Metabox, you'd have a different preceding section here and so on. So this is basically how these shortcodes are formed. But this is a really basic example. As you can see, it goes on and gives you more information underneath. So very useful to kind of get a feel for things. It even gives you an example of how to work with repeater fields. A lot of use cases isn't the easiest thing unless you have a tool like Bricks, which has great options for working with repeater fields and so on, relationships and things. That's a basic example of kind of getting to help you understand how a particular short code would work. But let's move on now to a more comprehensive example. So I've built a real estate website that has a lot of information on there. One of the key things behind it, though, is you've got properties, estate agencies or real estate agencies, if you're in the US, and you've got uh, realtors or estate agents, which are basically those three things are connected to each other. So if we take a quick look, you can see I've got properties. Then we have properties. If we go in and take a look at one of those properties, you can see there's the details. We've got the agent details and so on. We've also got agencies, which are the actual estate agencies. We've got two in this example, and we have estate agents or realtors in the US. And again, you can see we've got details about those and we can click into them and we can find out more information, the property they've got and so on. So we're going to use this backbone as the kind of starting point for what we want to use the Nora AI to help us with. So let's just jump back over. Let's start a new chat so we kind of get rid of anything that's already there. And we're going to prompt Nora with a lot of information. And this is the key here. If you have more comprehensive examples, you need to give it a lot of information to get good results. So let's just paste this in and let's just click on send. And then I'll kind of go through what we've done. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling it how I've got things structured to help me get a good result. So we're telling it that we have estate agent custom post type for agencies, agent and properties and so on. And then we've got the fields that are being used and so on. So we're giving it a lot of information. Then I'm asking you to give me 10 possible prompts to help me. So we're kind of being quite generic. We're telling it the structure and we're asking it to give us 10 examples of prompts that we could use to actually get 
custom shortcodes created for us. So let's take a look at what it comes back with. So here are 10 example prompts and use cases for the dynamic shortcodes plugin based on your specific custom post type and advanced custom field structure. So display in the agency address on the agent's page, listing properties for specific agent and so on. So you can see it comes back with a range of potential prompts that we could use. And then what we can do is we can tell it to create the shortcodes for any of these. So let's say, for example, display in the agency address on the agent's page. Let's just say to create the shortcode for number one. We'll send that. Again, it's going to check the documentation and check the shortcode. And there we go. So now that's telling us this is the shortcode you can use. The ACF, so it's an advanced custom fields field called office address. And the ID tells the ACF agent to agency. Because we prompted it and told it how the relationships work, it's coming back and telling us that's the relationship it's going to use. And underneath, you can see it breaks things down and tells us. So explanation, ACF agent to agency. This retrieves the ID of the first agency selected in the relationship field. The double pipe zero filter is used because relationship fields return an array of IDs, and this selects the first one. So then you've got at ID tells the outer ACF shortcode to look for the field within the specific post. You can see why this would be confusing if you didn't understand how these shortcodes actually work. So now you can see this then the final part is ACF office address. This fetches the office address from that specific agency post. So now what we can do is let's copy this. We'll jump over into my template for the specific agent. And inside there, under the address, we're going to pop in that short code. So we'll just pop it in. There's our short code. So now if we save this and test it, we'll refresh this. You can see agency address. There's nothing on there. So let's refresh this page. And there's the address. So if we come back into our agents, for example, and we choose this other person. So we'll say Dave Davidson. You can see they work for Darlow's. The other two work for Hathways. So this is going to be a different address. So 211 Cowbridge Road, blah, blah, blah. Click to open it up. 211 Cowbridge Road. Jump back out. You can see this is Main Street London for the both of these. Let's click and jump in. Main Street London. So you can see that short code is working perfectly. So you can see how you can use Nora to not only generate short codes, but also to give you ideas that you may not have thought of based upon your data structure that you have. And because we're working in a conversation, then anything we told it, for example, right back at the beginning, we've told it the structure, that information is going to be retained throughout this particular conversation, which if you're used to working with AI, so things like Bold AI, for example, or Lovable, or even ChatGPT and things things like that, the conversation becomes very useful because it retains context from everything else you've told it. So we could easily carry on going through these and getting it to generate shortcodes, and the process would effectively be the same. But let's move on to another example. We're going to keep the structure here in the conversation, and we're going to paste in another example. So we'll click on Send. This is the information we've got. So I have a site using custom post types and ACF relationships. Again, it breaks things down, tells it the relationships. Each property belongs to an agent, and each agent belongs to an agency. Write a dynamic shortcode example that retrieves all properties belonging to a specific estate agency, even though properties are only directly related to agents. Not so easy to say. So this then comes back with this detailed result. So as you can see, we're now getting a much more comprehensive code output. So as we've seen here, we're working with a loop. So this is basically going to loop through the different property information, the results in this example. You also see that it's pulling these in as an unordered list. And then we've got list items. So it's going to be a basic list item, which you could then format this the way that you want. And then we've got the how it works, a complete breakdown of all that's going on inside here. Now, say, for example, you didn't want to have that HTML code in there. Well, you can tell it to remove it. And now you can see those UL and LIs have all been stripped out. Again, we've got a breakdown of exactly what's going on. Let's try one more example. So let's come down and pop this in. Hit send. So this is going to create agency cards for us. Again, you can see we're breaking it down, telling it exactly what we wanted to do. Three custom post types, agent, estate agent, and property. I need a short code to be placed on a single agent post page that displays a contact card for their assigned agency, et cetera, et cetera. And then we give the short code that sets variable for related agency ID. Display the agency post title, the office address, and conditionally display the office telephone and office only if those fields are actually filled in the agency post. And then wrap the email in a clickable mail to link. So you can see that's going through now and generating all that code for us. Again, if we break down, 
Underneath, it breaks down the logic to show us exactly what's going on, including the mail to link and everything else we need. So the code is inside you. So if we wanted to take this into something like Gutenberg, we could absolutely take that in. And if we want to add more info in there, we can expand it so we can tell it other things we want to include. If you are new to working with dynamic shortcodes, or even if you're a seasoned dynamic shortcodes user, as with most of these kinds of AI tools that help with code, they are there to speed up the process. If you're familiar with it, you can use this to quickly get the job done, check through it, make sure everything's exactly the way you want, copy that, amend it if you need to, and just speed up the whole process. If you're new to this, you can also use this. I would probably start off with simpler examples to get your head around it, but I think Nora AI is gonna open up a ton of possibilities to expand what you can do and help users get there faster by using dynamic shortcodes. But as always, I'd love to get your feedback. Do you use dynamic shortcodes yourself? Let me know down below. If not, would the sort of inclusion of Nora AI open this up to something you take a look at using? Again, let me have a comment down below. As always, all applicable links are in the details down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.